start spreading the news. I'm eating today. I'll drive this rental car through it. New York, New York. I'll stop singing now, but I hope you're ready for another mini series. So you're gonna tell me how the challenge works, yeah? So we get uh, ten scoops of ice cream, three toppings of your choice, two bananas, one whole waffle, whipped cream, sprinkles, and cherries. And if you finish, uh, finish in less than an hour, it's on the house, and you get a free T-shirt, and you get a free wall of fame. I love a free T-shirt. Who's on the wall of fame? Yeah. Look at that guy. He's, he's got a good. Look at that beard. That's a great beard. Oh, that's a great beard. I think yours is better though. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So you have to pick ten flavors. Um, this part is probably tactically quite important. You don't want to mix anything weird up like mango and mint or, you know, peanut butter and, I don't know, kiwi. That would be weird. I never really objectively realized how bad my handwriting is before. It's like a six-year-old's. <laughs> it's actually a, a bit scary looking because it's pretty deep. <laughs> This is actually quite hard to pick up. I'm not sure if that's because I'm weak. All right, so today I'm at a place called Krish's in uh, Massapeka, New York. I'm taking on the infamous kitchen sink challenge, which has been done only four times out of how many attempts? It's around like 150. 150 attempts. So not a good success rate, but I'm gonna give it my best. It's just a ridiculous, it's a kitchen sink full of uh, ice cream and waffles and stuff. You get one hour, right? One hour, yes. <laughs> this is a big spoon. You got one for 154. All right. <coughs> What's up, Naomi? Welcome back to another episode and to another international adventure, no less. Uh, today I'm in New York, specifically around the Long Island area, getting to grips with a literal kitchen sink full of ice cream. Uh, oh, yes. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Ah, this guy's a character. I get the feeling that that might have been his idea of a joke. Because uh, a spoon that size ain't gonna come down the ear. And th this is a really famous food challenge. It's been attempted many times. Unsurprisingly, failed many times too. And it was even on that show, Man Vs. Food. Not the original one, the kind of discount reboot. I know all ice cream is cold, but this is the coldest ice cream I've ever eaten. <sighs> <sighs> Oh my, cherry. We shouldn't swallow that. It might give me easier access if I actually turn the thing. Yeah, that makes more sense. This thing is a death trap. Yeah, easy lad. I think the cherry stalks are probably the least of your problems. I, I, I saw this and I thought, you know, 10 scoops of ice cream? How hard can that be? I thought this would be a banker. And then uh, I got here and I realized it's really not 10 scoops of ice cream so much as it's 10 whole shovels of ice cream, plus the waffles uh, and the toppings too. I mean, it tasted good, but it's not as easy as it sounds. I'm starting to think this cannot be done. How did Randy do this so easily? <laughs> It might sound ridiculous, but until this point, I've never really felt, you know, like a fat ass eating in front of people. But there's something about eating out of a literal kitchen sink that will do that to you. More cherry stems. <sighs> I'm actually getting cramped in my forearm from mixing the ice cream. Melt, melt. Yeah, I think I must have left this like 10 minutes taking pictures and whatnot before I got started. And I still, when I came to eat the stuff, 
the ice cream was stubborn. It was still pretty rock solid. So, I mean, tactically, if you're going to do this, I would, I would say, I don't know, try and stall them, wait like 40, maybe 50 minutes or something. <laughs> trying to make it into like an ice cream soup. This is hard. <laughs> yeah, you can say that again. Put the little spoon down, man. What are you doing? <laughs> that ain't going to help you. Yeah, well, I mean, this is difficult. It's not just the amount of food here. It's really the practicality. You've got to eat with the ladle while not eating like a pig at the same time. You've got to wait for the stuff to melt. And it's $49.95 if you fail. My. This is hard work. When I read 10 scoops, I was thinking, oh, that's not too much. Just 10 crushes. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I don't know about that. I think it's... it's it seems to be going down very slightly, but I think it's just because it's melted into liquid. Yeah, I mean, I, it might look like I'm making progress, but really, it's just a combination of heat and uh, and gravity, <laughs> which is making the pile look like it's going down. I'm pr I don't know, I'm probably like halfway. So we just switched the lights off in the background. That's pretty symbolic of my feelings right now. <laughs> I just don't get how you can actually eat it. You know, I'm thinking about waiting like 15 minutes. I think I'm about halfway. If I wait like 15 minutes for this to melt to the point that I could drink it, I pretty much think that's the only way I could do it. Yeah, I think the way to tackle this, the, the thinking man's way to do it, would be to bring like a customized garden hose. The kind of thing you would, uh, I don't know, siphon petrol with or something. Not that I do that. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. But uh, yeah, that, that would be the, the easiest way to deal with the, uh, the viscosity of the ice cream the most practical way to eat because it just gets really monotonous and impractical eating with the ladle the whole time. <coughs> I don't know what to do with it. You don't have like a big straw, do you? Yeah, watch what he brings me. I kind of asked for that one. That's not gonna work. <laughs> I don't. I, the, it's hard enough with it. Like I need like a like a, like a garden hose, you know, to like suck it like this. Whoa, easy with the hand gestures, Sunny Jim. It's a family channel. Anyway, so by this time that I I start to uh, quite desperately need to make use of the toilet facilities. I don't know if it's the uh, the dairy and the hot coffee, but we're in the danger zone. I, I'm, I'm feeling that uh, I need the toilet now. That's the problem. <laughs> You're almost there. Almost there. Yeah, my colon is not the iron fortress it once was. I don't know why. Anyway, <laughs> probably not the best way to start a mini series. But I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, I'll be back in a few days. Hope I catch you in the next one. I need to poop. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it is with this man. This is a different animal. Oh my god. I really, it's making me want to go. I'm trying quite hard to hold it in now. <laughs> I'm gonna wave the white flag. I really need to use the bathroom. <laughs> First episode in the series, and it's a failure. Still, it's been a while since I failed now, what, like three months or something like that? But, uh, yeah, that was rough. Just got back from the toilet. I'll spare you the details, but if you watched or listened to episode number one of my new podcast, The Breaking Bread Podcast, you'll know all about it. Been having some uh, colonic control issues lately. How's it going, man? Can I get um, the Monte Cristo sandwich? Yeah. Just, I need something salty, you know, like. <laughs> is that cool? <laughs> it's like a war zone. Look at that, man. So close. It hurts to lose this one. It hurts. I'm gonna take my Monte Cristo sandwich and go cry in the car. <laughs> <laughs>